One of the biggest problems that we have worldwide now is the opioid epidemic. There are many new novel psychoactive fentanyls that are up to over 700 times as potent as morphine. If you do testing for opiates with an immunoassay that's targeted at morphine, it will pick up a few of these, but clearly, will not look at the larger number of different opioids that might be present. Using mass spectrometry can target this whole spectrum of opioid prescription medications, including hydrocodone, hydromorphone, oxycodone, oxymorphone, tramadol, and a large number of others. The Orbitrap technology was very attractive to us. We did quantitative analyses of a large spectrum of different drugs. We were able to put together a panel with excellent sensitivity and selectivity. So when you get the accurate mass, it gives you so much more assurance in the identity of the compound. I think the laboratory is going to have more different tests, not fewer, because the spectrum of available medications is going to get greater. Mass spec is an excellent way to look at the other natural cannabinoids that, for instance, are being considered for therapeutic use and will, in clinical studies, for their effectiveness, will need to be monitored, but also, perhaps, will be targets for therapeutic drug monitoring in the future. The QXactive gave us both the ability to screen large numbers of compounds. It also gave us the ability to quantify an entire panel of compounds. And we found that we could develop an excellent assay for these low concentration cannabinoids in the alternative matrix of oral fluid. Not only have we reduced the volume needed, but you can get many different assays within that same sample volume, especially for instance, if you're running a therapeutic drug monitoring or you're doing a drug screen, you can look at 30, 40 compounds in the same small sample size. One of the things that is excellent with Thermo Fisher with the TurboFlow is being able to automate it and to do online sample preparation. You can remove the proteins and other compounds that are present in your analytical matrices online. That enables you to avoid false negative results and you can focus the mass spec time on the analytes of interest. If you have the need for high throughput, then you can think about multiplexing. And Thermo Fisher has developed this workflow where you can take advantage of the time that is needed. So you can remove some of the chromatogram with all of the analytes that you're not interested in, the endogenous compounds, the phospholipids, the other components in your matrices that may be problematic. A mass spec is very versatile. So as we have more different compounds we have to monitor, mass spec is a tool that you need to have in your laboratories.